Almasiga, Agathis Philippinensis Warb, Aracariaci. Local names. In the Philippines, Almasiga, in Indonesia it is called Damar and in Malay, while the trade name is, Manila Copal, Kauri. Some of the tribal groups in the Philippines called this Salyamayag slash Salmayag. Taxonomic Notes. Agathis borneensis warb, was previously treated as a synonym of this species, Farjan 1998, 2001, but is now treated as a separate species, Farjan 2010. Similarly Agathis celebica, cord, warb, and Agathis philippinensis warb, were treated previously as being separate species, Farjan 1998, 2001, but are now treated as being conspecific with Agathis damara, Farjan 2010. Agathis philippinensis is a very large, evergreen tree with a pyramidal crown, it can grow up to 60 meters tall. The bowl is up to 3 meters in diameter. A coniferous tree that forms a dominant component of upland primary forest in Palawan, Philippines, Jose, 2018. Descriptions. Agathis damara slash Agathis philippinensis occurs in lowland to upland tropical rainforest as scattered emergent trees. In lowland to lower montane rainforest it can be associated with Dipterocarpaceae and Orphagaceae, however, Agathis often retreats to ridges with thin, rocky soils or to waterlogged areas where these dominant angiosperms are less vigorous. It produces cones that measure up to 5 cm, 5 cm, long for male cones which are usually cylindrical, while up to 8 cm, 8 cm long, for female cones commonly resembling the shape of a globe but not having the perfect shape of a sphere or ball. Its bark is gray and smooth, and oozes out white liquid material called resin whenever cut. This resin is what makes Almasiga highly valued in the world. Cone form of Agathis philippinensis. Distribution range from Indonesia, Sulawesi, Maluku, Philippines. Uses. The tree is harvested from the wild for its timber and resin. Large trees of this species are highly valuable timber trees, yielding large sizes of straight, not free, strong and light-colored sawn timber. The timber is traded internationally. Trees are also exploited for resin, manila copal. Agathis damara slash Agathis philippinensis is used in forestry plantations, mainly in Java, where the genus does not occur naturally. The resin obtained from the tree is used in the treatment of arthritis and asthma. To treat arthritis, the resin is softened by steam or indirect heat, not open fire, and spread on cloth or gauze and applied over the affected area. Smoke from the burning resin is inhaled to treat asthma. The resin contains an essential oil with the following constituents, D-limonene, diapinene, J-pinene, and camphene. Conservation Actions The tree is classified as vulnerable in the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Deforestation and targeted logging have been ongoing for many years, have accelerated in recent decades, and are continuing to deplete the global population of this species. Despite some difficulties in interpreting historic distributions due to taxonomic problems, an estimate of 30% reduction between 1950 and 2025 is probably on the conservative side. This puts the species in the vulnerable category. A logging ban for this species has been imposed in the Philippines. The species is also present in several protected areas, but policing these areas against illegal logging is not always effective. Considered also a vulnerable species under the DENR Administrative Order 2017-11, updated National List of Threatened Philippines Plants and Their Categories, pursuant to Section 22 of the Republic Act No. 9147, known as the Wildlife Resources Conservation and Protection Act, and in accordance with Section 6 of the DENR Administrative Order No. 2007-2001. References of the data gathered and credits to the rigful owners.